Hi everyone and welcome back to this channel. So, the IIT exam has finally got over. And the most asked question right now is what will be this year's cutoff? Let me be very honest with you. At this point nobody is going to predict the accurate cutoff marks like it's not possible for anyone neither teachers nor students like no one to predict the exact cutoff. And moreover, maximum students don't even know their exact marks and the results are yet to be announced. So throwing out a random cutoff uh, just for views or anything you might say is not going to be a good thing. And I have no interest in getting bashed letter just for giving you the wrong information. So you trust me or not that's not a big issue but genuinely I have no wish to mislead anyone to misguide anyone but from my last shots I have came across too many comments who are actually willing to uh, get a rough idea maybe uh, to know that whether they are going to get uh, chances or not or anything else so just because of that I have made a rough estimation of the safe scores this is definitely not the exact cutoff and i'm also just a student like you people so i have just made a like rough estimation of the safe scores and will show that to you and maybe that will help you and you all know that this year's paper was easy to moderate so yes there is a good chance of the cutoff being higher a little compared to the last year and but nothing is final until the results are out and the counseling is over. So here is a tentative list of the safe scores that you might consider. For IISA Bangalore, you can expect 220 plus if you are from general category. Now for IIT Madras, you can expect 190 plus and then for IISA Pune, you can expect 165 plus. For Kolkata, you can expect 150 plus. For Mohali, you can expect 145 plus. For Bhopal, you can expect 135 plus. And for TBM, 125 plus will be fine, I guess. For Tirupati, 115, I guess uh, it will be like that. And for Aiza Barhampur, you can expect 110 plus. If you have already appeared for IET, then you definitely know that there are some new courses added this year, like of your data science in Aiza Kolkata, uh, BTEC in Aiza Bhopal, and uh, economics and statistical sciences at Aiza Tirupati. So, since these are the new courses, no one can predict uh, the exact one and the exact scores. Mm, like the exact cut of scores and of course it's tough for anyone to even predict the safe scores but yeah there is a rough estimation that I can show you but yes again mm -hmm. this is just a rough estimation not the exact cut off and it may vary from this now for BS economics uh, at Iser Bhopa you can expect 140 plus and for BTEC, you can expect 170 plus. I guess it will be a little higher. And then for data science at ISA Kolkata, you can expect 140 plus. And for ESS, that is economics and statistical science at ISA Tirupati, which is a new course, you can expect 120 plus. So once again, these are just the safe scores, not the guarantees. Now, if anyone scoring less than 165, can also get into Aiza Pune and uh, anyone scoring less than 130 can also make it to Aiza Bhopal. Depending on the category, marks will again differ. And maybe you people know, I'm saying it again, that the number of the seats has increased. So the cutoff may be higher and the number of seats are also higher. So do not panic if your marks, uh, like your score, is a little bit less than I estimated. Hope this video helped you a bit and helped you in giving you some perspective. And maybe you know, but let me remind you once again that if Bhagwan to meri haat tak leke aaye hai, to haar ne ke liye to bilkul nahi. So keep hoping for the best and don't lose hopes. And last but not the least, best of luck for your results. And let me know in the comment section when your results are out.